Good evening and welcome to you on this Tuesday the 17th of November 2020 and as we draw towards the end of the day an opportunity to reflect upon what has been and to give thanks to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. We say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. We say together that night hymn. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our appointed psalm this evening is Psalm 143. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning. For in you I put my trust. Show me the way that I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake, for your righteousness' sake. Bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul, for truly I am your servant. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Jesus, our companion, when we are driven to despair, help us through the friends and strangers we encounter on our path to know you as our refuge, our way, our truth and our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And some verses from Scripture. The one who endures to the end will be saved, and this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to all the nations. And now for our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord, God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. We say together, the Nunc Dimittis. O King, most blessed on the day of judgment, 
number among us your chosen. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. O King most blessed on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. Heavenly Fathers, we come together at this time of prayer together. Um, as we've been doing so during this time of lockdown, we will um, say the prayers that the Archbishops of York and Canterbury have asked us to say. Loving God, at this time of crisis, when so many are suffering, we pray for our nation and our world. Give our leaders wisdom our health service strength, our people hope. Lead us through these past and difficult days to the fresh springs of joy and comfort that we find in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Loving Father God, be with us in our distress, with our families, friends and neighbours, our country and our world. Give health to the sick, hope to the fearful, and comfort to the mourners. Give wisdom to our front line and key workers, insight to our government and patience to us all. Overcome disease with the power of your new life through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And today, for Tuesday, we've been asked to pray specifically for the elderly, the isolated and the vulnerable. We echo God's commitment to those most at risk of this virus by praying today for those who are particularly vulnerable and isolated, praying for their deliverance, protection and comfort. We hold before God those who care for them, that they would be strengthened and encouraged in this work. And Heavenly Father, we lift to you any known to us who specifically ask for prayer at this time. Those known to us who may be struggling in body, mind or spirit. Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now for our colleague. God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring us to the dwelling which your Son is preparing for all who love you. Give us the will each day to live in life eternal. Let our citizenship be in heaven with the blessed, with the whole company of the redeemed and with the countless angels, praising, worshipping and adoring your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who sits upon the throne for ever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the light of Christ, the King of all, shine ever brighter in our hearts, that with all the saints in light we may shine forth as lights in the world. Amen. God bless you and thank you for joining us this evening for night prayer. Thank you as ever for your comments and it's good to know that we are worshipping together. So please do join us if you can for morning prayer tomorrow at nine and again at six for night prayer. 
and being a Wednesday, both will be led by my colleague, John Morrison. So God bless you wherever you may be tonight and may you know God's love, comfort and peace. Amen.